Hey, what's up, guys? Franchise here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so tonight we're going to do our box break. Uh, we got four people to go in on a box break. I do have a few packs here um, that I picked up, and they're just random packs that were 25 cents each, so I just grabbed a few. I do want to open up packs of the new 2020 Bowman, uh, the other Bowman. So this is the one I opened up. Let me just have this one around because I don't want to get rid of this pack yet. <clears throat> this is the Bowman first, and now the Bowmans came out. So these ones are a little bit cheaper. Um, I did get these at these packs and these packs, and I got a bunch of supplies that I was needing. I needed more um, tops top loaders and penny sleeves um, so I went to Action Sports over in West Stafford um, and they did have the Bowman in you can see the price for one pack definitely selling a little bit more than what they're going for on eBay um, so but you got to take in consideration when you buy them on eBay that you're paying the four dollars shipping anyway so that is um, the difference I guess we'll see but there's still some good cards in there so hopefully you guys can hear me I got a different mic on I don't even know if this thing has a mic give me uh, somebody comment if you can hear me on it or not so, so I can see uh, people are on there hey can everybody hear me Guess so. Let me try to get that one. Alright. I know this one works. I wasn't sure if you guys were hearing me on the other one. So I'll just stay with the other one, uh, old mic. Alright. So first things first, I want to go over something that I found. Well, I didn't find. I, I got it on tops.com. And when they release these, they release them literally for like a set amount of days. And I, I think I got lucky with this one. Um, so they only do a limited amount of these cards. Uh, it's called Project 2020. All right. And this is a Mike Trout card that Tops released. Anytime I get something new, I like to share it with you guys. All right. Well, I got a different um, microphone on now, Beth, so I can't tell if the other one works or not. So this is uh, something that I bought literally. I think I bought it right in the beginning of the quarantine, uh, and I just got it today. So, and these were $20 a card, but the problem is I didn't buy one. I bought five of them. Because you can buy a one, or you can buy five, or you can buy whatever. So, but I had a feeling about this card, and I'll show you why. This card was designed by Ben Baller. Um, he's the guy that designs all the jewelry for like rap artists and famous people. And this is the the Mike Trout one that he designed. And if you if I can get a good view of this card, you can kind of see like it has like uh, charm, you know, it's all diamond or uh, iced out, I guess you would call it. And his name is iced out and diamonds. And then if you look at his batting gloves, they're all diamonds. They're not real diamonds, they just look like they're diamonds. Um, yeah, so it looks like a Michael Jackson glove. So, anyway, these I just got this in the mail today and uh. People have already listed them on eBay, the, the same card for $300. Uh, it's a limited run card. I didn't expect that to happen, uh, but I guess because of, uh, if you look at it, Ben Baller, uh, right here, Ben Baller did the chain, LA based DJ, producer, actor, world renowned jeweler, is well known for extravagant diamond encrusted jewelry. He creates Baller's long list of clients 
Kanye West, Drake, Nas, Snoop, Snoop Dogg, Michael Jackson, The Weeknd, and Mariah Carey. So this jeweler designed this card, I guess, or he's an artist. And it's already going for a lot of money. I think people didn't get it, and now they really like it. So that was a good score, $20. Got it in today. And that's not the package for it. So I just wanted to share that with you. Tops always has products like this on their website. All right, just waiting for a couple people uh, to get on. I'm going to try to open this. So these packs here, I got these at Action Sports in West Effort, kind of near the uh, West Effort shop, right? And they're, they're really, they're 25 cents a pack. So I just grabbed them and figured we'll open them up. 90 Pro Set, uh, Baseball Legends. 90, 91 hockey. Uh, this is Opeachy. And then this one I just grabbed. That I've never even seen this show or movie, Rocketeer. So we'll start with Rocketeer first. So Rocketeer cards. It's amazing that they made cards for all these different movies. And there's really no value to them. There we go. Am I Rocketeer fans? That's the same concept as all the other cards. Puzzle piece. Let's see what the back looks like. I guess I might have to watch this movie and see what's going on. Keep this guy alive. Him again. At at Bulldog Cafe. No. Like we know what we're reading here. I have no idea. Alright, one more Rocketeer. All right, so if anybody's looking for a good Netflix show, I'm going to tell you it's addicting, and I've been caught up till 2 in the morning sometimes, just watching them over and over again. But the show that I am going to recommend is Money Heist. It is incredible, incredible show. I highly recommend that. If you're looking for a new show to watch, on there just you know it's a heist and the brains of the heist is amazing the way he calculates every move made by the police so if you're looking for a show if you haven't seen it yet money heist if you have seen it comment what you think about it uh i'm still watching it i mean i'm on episode it's four parts and i just thought it was four video four move like four shows and there's like eight so I guess a part is a, is a series. So it's four series. Um, it's good. Bella Chow is the main song in there. So I don't know if you ever heard. This is uh, 9091 Hockey, Opeachy. Bella Chow is the, is the song that they all sing in there. So, you know, I sing that song a lot. Red Army, Central Red Army. Look at that. I'm going to have to look these cards up. I mean, 25 cents a pack, you can't beat it. Oh, I got this bubble gum. I just, I just lint rollered everything. I think Yager might be this. Yager's rookie, Brodeur's rookie, and Ronick's rookie are right, this year. So. Luke Robitaille, he's older, he's not, yeah, he, he's back with like Gretzky's rookie, Chelios, he's older, gold, Let's do the other one, better off, this might be his rookie, that's a nice, nice card though, the Red Army, Bubblegum has a new smell, Black Hawks. Kind of stick to each other. McElwain, Anderson. So these are. Oh, there's a nice Lemieux card. I think the Lemieux cards probably have some money. Opeachy. Oh, what's the year of this? 90, 91. We'll put, we'll put Lemieux to the side. 
Oh, that was it. Uh, baseball Legends. Let's check out Baseball Legends. Then we're going to get to the box, and then I want to get to those Bowman packs. I may open one Bowman pack. I'm not sure. Oh, this is like this is like gift wrap paper. It's like real thick. Taped up. I'm not sure what these cards look like. I said I just grabbed them for a quarter. Look like. Man, these are like dingy looking cards. Travis. He's a legend. These are legends. Uh, Travis Jackson. I never heard of him. Pete Riser. Carl Hubble. Hubble. I heard of him. He's a good pitcher. He's one of the game's finest pitchers from 28 to 43. And Roy Campanelli. He was a great catcher back in the day. We got the 55 Brooklyn Dodgers. Hornsby. Oh, Stan the Man. And Jimmy Fox. And then this is the same year as, I think, Yager's rookie. So this is the same as the Opeachy year. These are like, there's no way these cards are protected in this. Uh, I, I remember collecting these when I was younger. Now that I opened them up. Dan Piles. Yeah. Grant Fuhr. Probably the year he beat the Flyers in the Stanley Cup. That was 87. I'll never forget that. I went to bed, or I went to bed thinking... Flyers were going to win, and I came back down the next morning, and my uncle hung up oiler signs all over the living room. He just he made them up. He drilled them and made them up, rubbing it in my face. That was a terrible heartbreak. These were 25 cents. Action Sports and West Effort. They had just opened up. I guess they have been closed for a while, so... I mainly stopped in there to get um, to get one. Uh, Brian Prop, Prop the Gaffal. Stopped in there to get penny sleeves and top loaders, just stuff for uh, these packs that we have to do. All right, so we're gonna do a box break. This is a first, my first one. We'll give it a go and see how it works. All right, so there's the cards for this Thursday. If you didn't get in yet. Comment what you want. 82 Fleer. I think Garbage Pal has one left. Um, wrestling is down to a few. Uh, 83 Football. And then I had the 81 Montana Rookie uh, Year Football. So, all right. So, this is a box break right here. So, this is how it's going to work. So, there's four stacks in there. Paul B would get the top left. John S. Uh, Back right, Brian A, front left, and Tom G, front right. All right, so we'll open it up like that. That way we keep track. Try to move this back a little bit. Yeah, this camera is about done. Lens or this. I'm gonna have to stick it. So if it's pointing down a little bit right now, just bear with me because it does. It stays like this, but if I try to go straight, it's terrible. All right, so we got a lot of packs here. I'm debating on whether leaving the wrappers on the ground just to aggravate my wife a little bit, or pick them up. We have a lot of wrappers after this. Just have to fix that. All right, so let's open this up. How do you even, how do you even open this thing up? Not right here. This is weird. Oh, I never did a box break before. I'm assuming that this, you can tell it's sealed. There we go. 
So I looked at this, mainly Sting, and there's a couple other ones that are, have some, like, you know, it's not like our WWF value, but it definitely, um, like Sting, I think is, is a decent card in here. There's a few different types of Stings in here. I'll try to set it up like we're in the uh, National Park Pharmacy. You guys can't see it, but there we set it up like it's in the store. All right, so we got Tom G. We get this one, Brian, John, and Paul. So we'll do Paul's first. Oh my God, how many packs are in here? Two, four, six, eight, nine. All right. So Paul B. Paul B. Right in there. Uh, right there. 91 WCW. These are the same packs as the basket or the hockey. These are like chintzy, chintzy wrappers. Steiner Brothers. And you guys will get all these. Ricky Morton. That's uh, part of Rock and Roll Express, I believe. I watched just a little bit Sid Vicious. Um, I think WCW is more Southern. Uh, we were more WWF up here. Right, here we go. Some sting. There's a sting right there. Number 13 card. Dutch Mantel. Fabulous Freebirds. El Gante. That might be a decent card too. I think I saw that one. Like I said, not, not crazy, but Teddy Long. Another sting. Is that the same sting? I don't know. See, there's quite a few different stings in here. This is a nice pack. Terry Taylor. Fabulous Freebirds. And I'm gonna have to go. I realize these pack, these box breaks take that long. I guess they take pretty long. That's a nice Steiner's one. We're in our Michigan outfit. Ricky Morton, Sid Vicious. I mean, how many wrestlers could they possibly have in the organization to not have repeats and different pictures? Freebirds, El Gante, and another Sting. This is Paul B's, Terry Taylor, Freebirds. I don't even think they did autographs or anything like that. If you look on eBay, a lot of the wrestling cards do have autographs on them, and they, they get them. Uh, gee, look at the wrapper. It's like um, they send it to PSE. Oh, there's a nice Ric Flair. That's probably a decent, decent price card. A few dollars. Southern Boys. Um, oh, so we're just saying. A lot of these these ones here, just to add value, they put the, they'll get an autograph and send it to PSA with the autograph, and PSA verifies. Missy Hyatt, Arn Anderson, Flying Brian, Doom. These are names from the past. El Gante, El Gante Frying, Flying Brian, Frying Brian is garbage pal. Steiner, Ricky Morton, Sid Vicious, and Doom. I have a Feeling I'm going to be saying these names over and over again with the 36 packs that we're opening up tonight. Mr. Wall Street, he sounds like a tough guy. Oh, Lex Luger. Steiner Brothers. Another Sting. Another Ric Flair. That dude was cool, man. Ain't nobody cooler than Ric Flair. Southern Boys, Sid Vicious. I think they might have had about 10 wrestlers total, it seems like. I'm just kidding. Ric Flair, Southern Boys, Missy Hyatt, or an I want to know who Missy Hyatt wrestles if she's the only one that's coming out of here. Arn Anderson and Flying Brian. WCW was fun to watch because it was definitely different um, than the other ones. I used to watch WWF, the cartoon. They had the cartoon. Mr. Wall Street, Lex Luger, Steiner Brothers, Sting. That's a nice Ric Flair. I wonder what the number one card is in the set. Another Ric Flair. Missy Hyatt. Missy Hyatt is in wrestling and she has nobody to wrestle. She's the only girl in the thing. Tommy Rich. Tommy Rich, he was a good wrestler. Dutch Mantel. Fabulous Freebirds. Lux Luger. Jim Ross. There you go. You can probably see him on the wrestling as an announcer still. Sting, Terry Taylor, Freebird, Z-Man. That's a new one. Z-Man. Steiner, Sting, Flair. 
said I'm not sure which ones, which things and which flares are higher valued ones. Different than our WWF Doom, Dante. Come on, let's go. Ricky Morton, Savicious, Doom, Tommy Rich, T Birds, Luger. I'm just going to celebrate a different card at this point. A different name. It's, it's all different. It seems like they're different cards. There's so many different variables for the wrestler. Doom. Elegante, Terry Taylor, Steiners, Morton, Sid Vicious, Doom, Tommy Rich, Mantel, Three Birds, Luger, and there's a different Jim Ross. Nice. All right, Paul, that's yours. Put that right there. John S. John S. Stack. Oh, Paul has one more. I'm sorry. Thought that was a wrapper. This one's Paul's, John. Don't be trying to steal it. This will quickly bolster up your WCW wrestling collection. 91. Southern Boys, Vicious, Other Flare, Southern Boys. There's a checklist. So, yeah, so look at this. So, Steiners, Steiner Brothers have 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen vari various cards in there. Fourteen variables or parallels. Arn Anderson, Flying Brian, Doom, Elegante, Flying Brian, Steiners, and Morton. All right, Paul, that wraps up your stack. This is John S.'s stack here. When we get done these, I'm going to open up these two Bowmans in the back here. Uh, they do have different cards than the Bowman first. Oops, sorry, just John, Steiner, Sid, Rick, Southern Boys, Checklist. So yeah, number one is, let's see, here we go. Number one is Sting. Sting has whole. Sting has 13 cards. Lex Luger doesn't have as many as Sting. Ric Flair. So, so I guess it sounds like I'm reading the same card over and over again. It's just different pictures. Doom, Flying Brian, Steiner, Morton. You probably could have the whole set if you bought this box yourself. You might have the whole set set by buying the one stack. Who knows? Do the math. Sid Vicious, Ric Flair, Southern Boys, Missy Hyatt. I definitely want to see another female wrestler just to see who Missy Hyatt wrestled back in the day. I mean, you think they, they would put everybody in the card set. So, John, this is your set. This is your stack here. Nice sting. The sting, I think they said there's 13 different types of stings in here. Sting, Terry Taylor, V Man. Steiner Brothers, another Sting, Ric Flair, Southern Boys, Sid Vicious, Ric Flair, Southern Boys, Giant Gonzalez. I'm not fluent in Spanish. Sid Vicious, Doom, Sting. Another Jim Ross. That's the third Jim Ross variable. Parallel, whatever you want to call them. Steiners. I think there's like 16 different Steiners. So we so we were we got this back, you know, back in the 80s on our TV set also. I'm not sure if if people down south, I'm not sure where this originated, WCW. Um, but I'm not sure if the people down south actually got WWF. So that's, I think, why these guys became famous because the broadcasting, I think, was just local to those guys. If anybody's more expertise at wrestling, chime in and let me know where WCW was mainly watched.
I think it was another one, NWA, NWA, so it's Southern, I'm trying to think of all the different regions of wrestling, I watched a, a uh, documentary, and it went over like, kind of all the different wrestling areas, so WCW was Atlanta, so yeah, they're down south, but we got it, we got to watch some of it too, I mean obviously in the 90s it was more widespread, but I'm talking early 80s, like 83, 84, or whatever. I just remember watching these randomly on TV. Because um, I remember I didn't know who was wrestling at the time. So these are all Sting, Flair, Steiner, Sid, Flair, Sting, Southern Boys. Arn Anderson, Flying Brian, Ding, El Gigante, El Gigante, and Flying Brian. Now you got two more packs. The stack of cards look bigger than the stack of the packs. Sting, Ric Flair, yep. Ric Flair. I probably should have looked at the numbers. And another Missy Hyatt. Still haven't seen her opponent yet. Doom. Oh, that day, Flying Brian. Probably the best thing to do if you ever wanted to probably get rid of these cars is try to sell the whole wrestler as a lot. Sell all the stings as a lot. Or just sell the whole whole thing, but you know, everybody has their favorite wrestler. Oh, here's a different one. Teddy Long. We haven't had him. Green. Terry Taylor. Fabulous Freebirds. Mr. Wall Street. Max Luger, Dino Brothers, Sting, Ric Flair, Southern Boys, and Sid Vicious. And that was John's last pack. Straighten it up a little bit. So we're through this box break. Hopefully, we'll go with Tom G next. Um, Maybe we can just make Tuesday's box breaks. Um, obviously, we'll get something that everybody's interested in. And really, it's just four people. They usually do box breaks. Find four people that want to do a certain box. We'll search and look for it and see. <clears throat> oh, God. Damn. Remember, we're just looking for a new wrestler. That's our goal right now. Something new. Doom, Tommy Rich. Dutch Mantel, Fabulous Frito, Freebirds, Fabulous Fritos, Lex Luger, another Jim Ross, I don't think you saw that one, and Sting. This is Tom G's. Lots and lots of packs here. El Gante, Terry Taylor, Steiner Brothers, Rick Morton, Sid Vicious, Doom, come on, give me something different, Dutch Mantel, that's a different picture, Lex Luger. I feel for I feel bad for the people that they're wrestling in the pictures. That's a nice sting pick card. That don't have a card. Because there's no way that they have a card for every wrestler. WCW here. Because the same guys over and over again. 12 full color cards. Southern Boys, Sid Vicious, Ric Flair. It's a nice one in his robe. Yeah, the best robes. Southern Boys. Arn Anderson. Arn. Uh, he had his brother, I think. Was his tag team wrestler, tag team partner. Doom, Elegante, Frank Bryan, Steiner, and Morton. Terry Taylor. Freebird, Z Man, Lex Luger. Steiner Brothers, Sting, I mean, Vicious, Flair, seen that one already. Southern Boys, another checklist. I wonder if this is, I wonder how many cards there are in this set. We'll see if we come across another checklist. I know I came across a few already. I didn't think to check. 
I do not like the packs, the wrappers. Sheets. Terry Taylor, Freebirds, Z Man, Luger, Brothers, Sting, Flair, Steiner, Vicious, Flair, Southern Boys, and Missy Hyatt. Maybe they just picked their superstars. I would have put everybody on the cards. WCW had to have more than 14 wrestlers. So Vicious, Dean, Rich, Mattel, Freebirds, Luger, Luger throwing uh, Ric Flair. I don't know. Seems like they're all wrestling each other. Sting and Lex Luger. I mean, Sid Vicious and Lex Luger. Teddy Long, Sting, Terry Taylor. Terry Taylor and Arn Anderson. So I don't know. Maybe they didn't even have that many wrestlers in their lineups. Arn Anderson. Flying Brian, Doom, Elegante. Flying Brian, Steiners. It's all the same over and over. Over. So these cards, I guess, would probably have done better if they didn't put the same person in 13 different pictures. See? I mean, Orrin Anderson, I don't know how many there are, but we, we went through a few of them. I mean, it's not even that much of a different of a picture. It's not like it's, like, oh, dude, that's a great shot. Let's put that on the card. <clears throat> so it's like, take this picture or take this picture and then five seconds later, take this picture and we'll make two cards out of it. Just doesn't make sense. Brian, Brian, that's Doom. I mean, he's the only one. I don't know what the red is. Ron Simmons. All right. So they're brothers. I, I thought it was the same dude over and over again. But they're brothers. I do like this one. This one is pretty cool. Ricky Morton, Sid Vicious. There they are, the Doom. Martin Anderson. Fabulous Freebirds. Back when Oakleys first came out, 91, 91 Oakleys. I definitely had a pair of Oakleys in 1991. Whoa. Just tipped the phone over there. I had a pair of Oakleys in 91. Sting, Flair, Southern Boys, Vicious, Ric Flair, Missy Hyatt. Let's see how it must have been undefeated that whole year. Arn Anderson. Doom. And that was your last pack, Tom. Huh? And now Brian gets the last stack. Yeah, buddy. It's definitely a change of pace. We definitely opened up way more WCW cards than we did WWF since we started. And this is what a box break is. People people box break four boxes in one night, five boxes, and it's like it's they're on. I think they'll start at eight o'clock, and they're on at like two in the morning. Same, same uh, episode. It's pretty crazy. I just want us maybe a Hogan pop out at us, right? Hogan went over and wrestled somebody that one night. Steiner, Sid, and Rick. So Morton, Sid, Doom, Tommy Rich. Dutch Mantle, Freebirds, Luger, Jim Ross, Sting, Taylor, and Freebird. So, definitely not enough different people in this set. Hyatt, same Doom, Elegante, you guys can see it. I'm not to read every one. So. 
I guess that's probably why WWF did a little better than uh, WCW then. I don't know. I'm sure John will correct me and say, well, actually, WCW's ratings. I know it was back and forth. One was on Monday night and one was on Thursday. And it was a battle back when I was in college and we watched both of them. Monday Night Raw and uh, I forget what it was called, but I know we watched both of them. And we watched that and then I was, honestly, sounds crazy, but all the baseball team gathered in and watched 902, Beverly Hills 90210. On there. And then we had the Jerry Springer group that would watch Jerry Springer every day and, and almost miss class. Not, what year? Uh, oh, no, I'm talking with uh, like 95, 96, John. What was the two, uh, two things that were going head to head? Because I know you had to like watch. 1995, that was my college days at Seton Hall. 96, 97, there are three years. Sting. Yeah, it's funny because 90210 came on and everybody just piled into the room. Because believe it or not, not everybody had a TV in 1995 in their college dorm. I was like one of the few baseball players that had the, a, an actual computer in my in my room. Like the whole baseball team would come to my room to go on the computer and type their papers. Nitro versus Raw, yeah, that's what it was. Monday Night Nitro, Monday Nitro or Monday Night Raw, Thursday Night Nitro maybe. Um, we actually still used the word processors that had that little tiny window that would show you about two lines of your typing. And, uh, you know, so it was pretty weird that not even everybody had a TV in their room back in 1996. Maybe paid for the cable separately. I don't know how that worked. Yeah, so Brian, this is your latest pack. There we go, Brian. And what I'll do is I'll roll a dice. I do have one pack of... Um, WrestleMania. And I'll, give you, I'll give you a number. We'll just go right here with this number. So, and if any other number comes up, I'll just re-roll it. So we'll go one, two, one, two, three, and Brian will be four. So whatever number rolls up. We'll get the pack of WrestleMania. I'll just throw it in there. So, one. Paul, you get the WrestleMania pack. Stack one. Right here. This is what this looks like. This guy I bought the box from just threw this in there. He said he had it laying around, so. WrestleMania cards. Oh, nice. Andre Giant. I have no idea who that is. Slick, the Doctor of Style. Oh, nice. That's good. Piper. Oh, look at that. That's like iconic right there. Yeah, I don't think these packs, I think these packs online are going for a dollar, John. This. Jim the Anvil. That's British Bulldog. I think both of them may be dead. All right, look at that one. Royal Rumble. Another shot of it. Brutus the Barber. Is that Rick Martell? Oh, 
British Bulldogs. Beefcake. Yeah, the guy just threw this pack in with the box of WCW. Greg the Hammer. I remember I went and watched Greg the Hammer wrestle. Uh, that's a nice one. Greg the Hammer wrestled Jimmy Snuka at Spectrum. It's a cage match. And Greg the Hammer was bloodied up. This is George the Animal against Macho Man and Elizabeth. Looks like George the Animal. Uh, actually, it looks like George the Animal. I think actually he fell in love with Elizabeth. Back with that storyline. There's Macho Man, George the Animal. Hogan, Giant. Oh, Bundy. King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy. There you go. King Kong Bundy again. Hogan. One of my baseball players' uncle is King Kong Bundy's brother. Former baseball player. So, Paul, you get that set there. All right, I'm going to finish it off with this Bowman pack. Like I, said, I got this at Action Sports, 16 bucks, but um, I think it's, they're going for like maybe 10 or 11 on eBay, but you got to pay a $4 shipping. So it's kind of kind of the same deal. I think it actually gave me, I bought a lot of stuff there today. So, let's see who I have in here. It said he might be, there should be an auto, not in this, but in his box. So, we'll see. Kevin Newman. Oh, there's a nice Bo Bichette rookie. I needed that. Hidden finds. Jordan Valazovic. Plays nice and hard. Played for the Twins. Royce Lewis. Jesus Sanchez. Owen Miller. Will Wilson. It's a nice card. Franklin Perez. Eduardo Escobar. And Joey Votto. These are the new Bowman. They just came out. They're actually delayed. Bowman delayed the uh, the release of these. There's a nice Vlad Guerrero on the back. Um, let's see if I get lucky. I'm not really lucky when I get with these packs here. Chris Bryant. Don't I, didn't I just get this guy? I got every parallel of him. Yeah, look at that. This dude better turn into a stud. Sam Huff. That's a good rookie. Oh, Ali Rushman. I wanted him. I saw him playing spring training this, this past spring with, against the Phillies. He's the number one pick, right? Or he's the Orioles' number one pick? First overall. So he was first overall in 2019. Kenzie Gore. Hans Cruz, Francisco, and Vlad Guerrero. Nice. I think I got a couple of good cards in there. Not bad. Um, definitely, I don't know. These, these, these packs are a lot of money. Poor kids. Kids these days cannot collect baseball cards. It's definitely not a kid's thing, which stinks, you know. But, all right. So, I'll get these cards. I'll... I have some of your things. I, I mailed some of the cards out. I still have to drop off cards. Tomorrow I'm probably going to drive around and do it. So you'll get these when I drop these your cards off. Uh, it's probably cost me $30 in shipping. I'm kidding. Not that much. But um, you will get these tomorrow when I drive around. All right. Thursday is going to be our pack rips. Sponsored pack rips. And, uh, you know, somebody's interested in a box break let me know and i'll see what i can find get, all you need is three four people interested and we'll find a box to, to bust open um 82 fleer let me go up here 82 fleer three dollars garbage pal has one i haven't checked it maybe somebody sucked it up already uh 83 footballs three five three wrestling's four and then the joe montana rookie is Rookie pack, it's 81 tops. That will be $6. That's actually half sold out already, so that's good. I would love to pull a Joe Montana rookie. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, my box break, guys. Thanks for uh, sponsoring that box break. You'll get those cards. And I will see you guys on Thursday night.
Have a good night, guys.